we are wintertime fishing in the kayak. So what we're doing today is uh, we're fishing deep. It's a winter time pattern. This lake is like 140 at its deepest. I'm fishing this point. I'm doing. I was hoping that it should be shallow. Through drink it for a while. Nothing. So started scanning offshore, and they are deep. The shad are at 65 feet of water. Um, and some of the stuff is like 90 to 100. So I was fishing all the uh, bigger arches that are, you know, the shallowest. It's still shallow. It's still 75 feet. So what I'm doing is I'm graphing, marking, dropping a big slab spoon down there. It's like a one ounce chartreuse. And I'm just hopping off the bottom. Also, this is the first time I've actually targeted fish this deep. I uh, I think I know what I'm doing, but like I said, I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, so let me know in the comments if you guys can give me some tips on how to fish deeper than 60 feet vertical jigging. I do know my graph very well, but I feel like my uh, my my lures are slacking. Like I don't have enough of them. There we go. Fishing this. Oh, caught him from like 80 feet of water, guys. Oh, it's a shithead. Nice. Caught a shithead from 80 feet of water. 80. Crazy. 80 foot of water. Yep. Well, that's what you'll see every day. check this out I've never had to open my bail this long ever before it's a one ounce it's falling quick and it takes like 15 seconds to get to the bottom Another one from 75 foot water. Let's see what we got. Oh man. 
I'm just fishing for a bunch of shithead, I guess. Uh. Oh, he did. See that? Stomach came out. Hopefully he's okay. I just don't know what kind of fish it is. I mean, caught two so far. They're just shitheads. So, we got to make our way through the whole pack. And uh, maybe we'll catch some nice. I don't know. We'll see. Unless it was a hybrid or something. That's not. As you guys can see, that's my jig. Went all the way down there. Straight shot. We're just waiting for volunteers now. But like I say, we're 85 foot down, so it's pretty deep. I don't know what that is, but... Oh, it's another shithead. Why do I keep on catching so many shitheads? Ah, that's a lot of shitheads. Well, oh, another shithead from like 75 foot of water. Okay, here is a little look at the vertical jigging screen on the Humberd. I don't know why my GoPro is having problems capturing the uh, display on the screen. Maybe a frequency thing. But anyway, uh, maps on the right, 2D is on the left. You can see a lot of fish, shad, and big fish down there. I just got bit right there too, it missed. And the green on the right side was charts, and I've highlighted 75 feet. That's a good one. I don't know what it is, but it's a good one. Oh, it came off. Ah, came off, came off, came off. Forget about the deep water stuff, man. We're just going to go jerk bait fishing in. That's what we love doing. And it's the only jerk bait bite I got all day right here. Ah. Well, that was a good buy. Shallow water too. Oh. Oh. That hit it hard. It's a probably hybrid. Oh, I see color. Shithead. It's a big shithead. Oh, no, 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 what is it? Oh, it's a hybrid. Oh, it's a smallmouth. Oh, come on, yo. You took your drink base off. 
It's a good size smallmouth, man. Look at that. Oh, that's hard ass work. So you never giving up on the, the drag bait. Ooh. Purple magic, dude. They're on that break. So there's like a break at like seven foot zone. Dude. Stay smoke is all is aggressive. Oh, you gotta take it my thumbnail picture, dude. Come on, yo, come out. Oh, Hell yeah, purple magic. Oh, purple magic. <sighs> okay. Drink bait bite tied down again and uh, did a lot more scanning and uh, found this one spot. Fish are active on it, just don't know where they are, so decided to drop down on it. Marked it with a waypoint circling around back. And look at the uh, graph, you can see that there's fish down there and they're active, they're moving up and down. This one. Fish this. Oh, shithead again. What is up with these shitheads? Catching so many shitheads today. Oh. Damn. Well. Where we're jigging? See my lure? Up and down? Up and down? Right there. Not getting bit. There was some fish around here, but I don't know where they went. It's a vertical jig. There's fish down there. I mean, I just saw a whole group of them right there. See that? That's from before. And it's off to the left now, off to the right side now. But there's a there's a there's a bunch of them down there. There you go. That's a much better shot of it. There you go. That's what you do. You got to go find the fish and then you just drop down on them. But lost the fish now. Marked on my waypoints. Let's go check it out. A rock. Dang it. I caught a rock. Alright, so today is one of those days where if you wasn't going to fish deep, you just wasn't going to catch them. Most of my fish came on a slab spoon and usually I, I, I don't even know how to fish that really. Today is one of those those uh, experimental days, you know. Uh, so anyways, uh, I caught one drake bait fish, pretty good size smallmouth. Uh, it's probably like a two and a half, three pounder. And everything else were just shitheads, came deep, uh, either 25 or 75 feet deep. Kind of like this right now, as you can see, everything's deep. 
for everything coming out deep. Uh, I'm not a deep fisherman. I've, well, I am, but I'm not that deep. That's like 80 feet deep. Uh, but, you know, some days you just got to do things you don't want to do. You already get bit. So, anyways, uh, give me a, before you guys leave, uh, give me a sub, give me a like. And remember, guys, uh, if it swims, it can be caught. See ya. Hey everybody, thanks for watching, but stop preloading. We need you guys to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you guys on the next one.